This is the daily video update for Friday, March 25th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're recording updates from the back of a bike on the Jamaica North Trail in Lincoln, Nebraska on a brisk March afternoon. I'll say before diving into the question for today that this is actually really lovely. You know, the very awkward piece of talking to myself as people bike by in the other direction aside. For me, doing updates this way is a really good way to get outside, get moving. <laughs> Feel like I'm talking to something other than my computer screen during the day. I hope it's also a chance for those of us who have spent a lot of time inside in the same couple of rooms for 12 months to experience the change of the seasons. Anyway. Prompting question for today, which I knew and then promptly forgot. This is going to take a second. Okay. Prompting question for today. What did your family teach you about responsibilities we have to the world? This question flows from the last that we were talking about yesterday, on Thursday. Bike by these folks so as not to just chatter at them. What is our responsibility to the world? What do we owe each other? Salt Creek is as high as I've seen it. This always felt like a very live um, question when I was growing up with my family. It still does in a lot of conversations we have together. Conversations that I hope I'll have with Ailish. And we had challenges when I was growing up, but I grew up as you know, the relatively gifted kid of very smart, dedicated people. And always, 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 those two things went together. That if you had either privilege or skill, and really in American meritocracy that exists in 2021, things get knit together pretty early. Then it was a responsibility to have a life of some kind of service. Uh, to make the world better. You can just in your corner of it. I grew up listening about everything from public policy to 
stories of mom's family getting tear gas in the 60s. And the assumption was always that we would, my sister and I would do something with that. <laughs> so I joined the Peace Corps and then became a minister. Um, so that seems to have sunk in. Well, it's busy down here. You know, that's not to say that that school of thought is always good. It, it leads really quickly into you know, a kind of paternalism that's truly counterproductive. Um, and so I think, I think for those of us who grew up with that message, that's always that's always also got to be in our heads. <laughs> you know, even if we're talented and feel the need to serve, that doesn't actually also mean that we know the answers to everything. We've talked about that before. We'll talk about it again in these updates. For now, though, that about covers what I came here to talk about. First time I biked this trail, it was closed off here. So they were converting this big old bridge to connect Jamaica North with the rest of the bike trails in Lincoln. And that opened up just recently and it is a glorious thing all right well i'm gonna keep biking you have a good weekend i hope it is warm and sunny and that you have something fun to do see you on monday <laughs>